I'll be going through the past, present challenge, and outcome. So Leo, in the recent past, we have the Empress. Now this would have been a potent time for love. And you probably found that men and women alike, they were suddenly finding you far more attractive for friendship and romance. Now, keep in mind, you would have needed to be careful with how you use that power. Don't underestimate its potency. If you were single and you were looking, then this would have been a time when love, true love that is, could have very well came your way. In fact, if you were single, and not looking, then true love probably seeks you out anyway. Committed relationships, they often become sweeter, deeper, truer under the influence of the Empress. Now, the Empress is paired with the Six of Pentacles. If you're already in a committed relationship, the Six of Pentacles, it points to a happy time. Generous, fair, and balanced relationship for at least a while. You need to allow your lover to give to you. And at the same time, you need to make sure you are doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. If you were unattached but looking, this card, um, it indicates that you are likely, you probably met someone who was positive, kind, and generous. This may have came about by way of introduction from someone you knew. So you needed to make sure you let people know that you were looking for a partner at that time. Those two cards are in the recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the hangman. Now this is a card about letting go. Letting go of an unattainable lover, for example, will bring about the, the possibility that someone you can be with will be there for you. But that's only one example. If you need to let go of a particular kind or type of relationship as being the only way that you can be happy, you may need to let go of that, that thought or that way of thinking. Also, if you're in a long-term relationship, that relationship could be at a crossroads. If you think the relationship is great, fabulous, be sure to find out where your partner's head is at this time. Now that's the hangman. And it's paired with the world card. Now, if you travel during this time, you and you're in the market for a relationship, you could meet someone while you're away. This will be true even if you travel locally, not very far away. So don't be afraid to talk to strangers, um, socialize mix and mingle. On the other side of this, if you have been in a committed long-term relationship for some time, you're probably likely to find it rising to new and better heights. Things in the love department should be quite interesting, but in a good way when you get this card in a reading. Now with these two cards paired together, the hangman, you're at a crossroads. It could be... Um, Thinking about letting go of a situation or a relationship. You could be thinking about it. Or you need to let go of a particular idea or maybe just let go of the idea of how you think a relationship should be. Okay? It's about letting go and you're at a crossroads. Yes, no, sh um, in, out, up or down. You just, you're not sure which way. Okay, and it's paired with the world card. Now, if you travel, uh, it'll be a great time. You'll probably meet that special one during travel. That's with the world card. So don't be afraid to talk to strangers. And if you're in a relationship, if you decide to stick with the relationship that you're not sure if, if you should let go, it will probably rise to new and better heights because you have the world card, and that's what it does. And so, um, you, right now you're just thinking of letting go. Okay. Or you could, like I said, it could be a situation, but with the world card, if you stay, if you stick with the situation, it probably will rise to new and better heights. So that's going to be up to you. Only you know what's going on in your situation. And that's going to be the present. 
Now we move on to the challenge. We have the seven of wands. Now, if you're already in a relationship, don't hesitate to speak your mind to your partner. This will only improve your relationship as long as you are considerate in the way in which you speak your mind. If you're single, this card can indicate that you're about to meet someone new away from your usual search. So try something new. That's the seven of wands and it's paired with the Knight of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Pentacles points to responsibility and duty. That's a part of any love relationship. Love is not always wine and roses. True love is a willingness to work together to get through any rough spots and to work on the relationship. If you're looking for love, and this card is in your reading, it's a clear signal that you need to switch up your routine, try new things if you want to meet someone because your usual search leaves very little to be desired. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, well, if you're looking for someone, they're both saying the same thing. Switch up your search, try something new because the way you're meeting people is is not getting um, the results that you want. Both cards are saying this, so that's that's a strong, definite yes that you need to try something, a new approach to finding a mate. And if you're in a relationship, it's a time to communicate, talk, 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 talk with your partner so that it can improve the relationship. And if it's already improved, that's great. But uh, if you communicate at this time with the Seven of Wands, speak your mind to your lover, it's going to um, improve it even more, okay? Put it that way. <laughs> and it's paired with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, it's about relationships not being great all the time, but you have to work together to get through rough spots. So that's what you're doing because you're communicating. Uh, you're working through any issues that you have um, that may uh, present itself with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, because uh, that will only take it to a new and better height. I don't see anything ending. I don't see an ending. It's just these two cards are just about communication, talking just to get um, the relationship to a, a better place and to work through any rough spots. Now, that will be the challenge. And then we move on to the outcome. We have the judgment card. Now, if you're... If you're in a relationship already, this can be a make or break period. This is a time to get very clear about what you want out of life and out of your relationships. Then take steps to make it come about. If you're seeking a new relationship or new love, it'll probably come about in the very near future. But you may need to take steps to make sure that you're not jumping to conclusions, positive or negative, about your new love or vice versa. Keep in mind, slow and steady wins the race. Now, the judgment card is paired with the eight of wands. Now, you probably are feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be coming towards you. Again, remember, you cannot or you must not push someone before they're ready. You cannot get your needs, you cannot get your needs met by force. So distract yourself if necessary and you're lover maybe back to you before you know it offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter with these two cards paired together the judgment card it's a make or break period in a relationship you need to get very clear about what you want out of it and then take those steps okay and it's paired with the uh, eight of wands this make or break period, you're probably feeling that it's taking uh, too long to get the relationship to where you want it to be. So you don't feel like it's progressing. So that's why it's at a make or break period. Okay, you can't push your partner to be a person or to be something that it's he's not or she's not. You can't not, you cannot get your needs met by force. So that could be this make or break period, okay? Uh, and it's just not, it's just not changing fast enough for you. 
So it's actually going to be up to you what you want to do in the relationship. But it points to a need to get very clear, very specific about what, what you want out of life now and out of your relationships. Then take those steps to make it come about. And that's going to be the outcome. So, Leo, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day.